Down the Road Show is a creative venture of Murdoch Worldwide Entertainment. You're listening to the Down the Road Show with JC and Casey. And this is JC from the Down the Road Show, and I'm here with Tom the Mongoose McEwen. How are you doing, sir? Hi, JC. How are you doing, guys? Uh, fantastic. Now, we're uh, doing some segments for the Down the Road Show as well as uh, the Pit Pass TV. And uh, we'd like to go ahead and ask you some questions about the history. We understand that there's a movie in the making. Yes, they're planning a Snake Mongoose major motion picture. It's going to start filming shortly and it'll be out spring or summer of 12 and it's going to be all about drag racing and fire and power and all kinds of stuff mongoose and snake and uh, we're really looking forward to it and this is a feature film this isn't a documentary so much but it's covering a lot of true to life uh, facts and a lot of uh, highs and lows and ups and downs and the positives and it's everything. a it's a regular written script and it's not a documentary and they're going to use a whole bunch of actual film from NHRA and Mattel Hot Wheels will be involved along with a lot of other people and it's going to show cars and action and actual stuff and racing and uh, kind of he and I on the road and uh, families and uh, uh, PG movie for kids and uh, I think it'll be real good so I think it'll grab a lot of attention for our new fans and well I, I think it's good yeah I think it's going to be for kids that growing up that didn't get to see us and older people that did see us and uh, you know we kind of started the hot wheel revolution in 1970 so there's been about four generations of families with the kids playing hot wheels on the floor of their house that know who we are and <laughs> and uh, so i think that they're going to look forward to all the different kinds of cars we drove in the places we raced and it's going to be you know all guys like cars exactly. and you throw power and horsepower and speed in it and it's going to be a show for everybody and i think it's uh They've got the actors lined up and the directors and everybody, and it's funded. It's not just talk, and it's actually going to happen where lots of times you just hear about it and it don't happen. <laughs> Let's go back in time a little bit. Can you tell us a little bit of your beginnings in the, in the industry and the racing? And how did you get to start it? What influenced you to get started with this? Well, I started going in 1953 out to Santa Ana Drag Strip, which is now Orange County Airport. And that's when I started taking my mother's car out there when I was young. And I just started racing then, and I've driven every kind of car from 70 miles an hour to 300 miles an hour, and uh, done that for you know my whole life. I retired in '92. Now I work for Drag Racer Magazine, editorial and sales, and uh, I raise racing quarter horses, all named Mongoose something. And uh, that matter of fact, I'm going there to Los Alamitos when I leave here. I'm going there tonight. I got a horse running tonight in the second race, so that's where I'm going, and uh, that's what I do. Outstanding. Good luck with that. Now, I asked a question earlier to uh, Snake. Uh, what is your top speed or your recorded speed that you can go ahead and brag to us about? <laughs> Fastest I, I ever ran was 298 miles an hour and a little over 4.30 4 seconds quickest that, that I did. That was low ET and top time of the 92 Winter Nationals at Pomona, California. They go a lot faster and quicker now than what I did, but in my day I did good. And so 92 was the same year that you retired, so that's a great way to, to actually go out, isn't it? Yes, yeah. We kind of went out on top, and uh, we've set a lot of world's records over the years and done well, and uh, so it's been it's been a good life. Fantastic. Now, one question I'm really curious about, how did you receive the nickname Mongoose? Racing the snake in the uh, back in the middle 60s, I was driving for Ed Donovan, and he was one of these guys that had a nickname for everybody. And they called Perdome Snake because he was tall and thin, and uh, we beat him a couple times, and Donovan said, this is like Kipling's Jungle Book, Ricky, Ticky, Tavy, the Mongoose, and the Snake. He said, you guys ought to pursue that. So I had some scientific pictures drawn of an animal, and so did he. On the, We started putting them on our helmets and our cars, started match racing. I took the idea to Mattel in 1969. They loved it, started making Hot Wheel cars then, and the rest is history. Fantastic. Now, my uh, my, par my co-host partner, Casey, isn't here at the moment, but I got some questions for you on behalf of him, if I could. Sure. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite superhero? Well, I like a lot of them. Uh, my favorite movie is Predator. That's, I, I, I like, I don't know if that's a superhero or a villain, <laughs> but I like the Predator stuff. But I, I like, uh, I like Superman, Batman. Uh, I, I like all of the... Uh, the uh, green uh, green uh, green arrow I, I mean i like all of the i like all that sci-fi star trek i'm into all that stuff always have been those are the 
perfect venue for you to be here at this time. What is your favorite villain? I guess the Predator would handle that, but he can handle both ways, I guess. In yeah, your... but if I look back, uh, Jack Nicholson is the Joker on the one Batman, which I never got over. I don't understand why they killed him off. I thought they shouldn't have done that, but I always thought he was awfully good in that, that part. It's fantastic. It's always a go-to for me in my, in my library of films as well. What would you say is your your own personal hero or influence? Oh, uh, probably my mother raised my brother and I. My, my father was killed. He was a Navy test pilot. He was killed when I was two years old in Panama. My mother raised my brother and I all by herself. And uh, she's not here now. She's gone. But she was always really good with us. And uh, I always thought she was kind of my hero. Well, all best success. Can, can we still catch your team racing at various venues around the country? No, I don't race anymore. You know, Don had a team for a while and raced, and he quit. And uh, I quit in 92, and uh, uh, I don't like traveling anymore. I did that for 45 years. So now I just kind of do local shows in Orange County and go to the NHRA Winter Nationals World Finals and stuff like that. And other than that, I just enjoy watching it on television. Fantastic. Well, thank you for taking your time out with us. I had the interview with Tom the Mongoose McEwen, and this is JC with the Down the Road Show. OG's Pizza and Brewing Company in Anaheim, California is just moments away from Disneyland and the Anaheim Convention Center. The friendly staff is serving up fun for the whole family in a sports-oriented atmosphere with great food and delicious beers. Join them on your next trip and enjoy different happy hour specials seven days a week.